It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, guys, I think the lesson we all learned this week is never break up with Taylor Swift. <laughs> or she will sing about you for 10 minutes on national television. <laughs> at the very least, at the very least, return the scarf. <laughs> but in real news, I, I don't really know what's real anymore, ex-Trump <laughs> advisor Steve Bannon, seen here moments after shooting out of a sewage pipe, <laughs> Sorry, I, I should use his full name. Stephen K. Bannon, the K stands for three Ks, <laughs> was indicted this week for contempt of Congress. And convicted, Bannon would face up to two years in prison, which, from the looks of him, might be a life sentence. <laughs> Legal experts are saying that Kyle Rittenhouse crying on the stand as he described how he shot his victims will help him with the jury. Man, is there a White Tears Law School that I don't know about? <laughs> I notice that every time y'all get in trouble, you start crying and everything just works out for you, whether you're trying to beat a murder charge or trying to be a Supreme Court justice. <laughs> Prosecutors have asked a judge to sentence Jacob Chansley, the January 6th insurgent known as the QAnon shaman, to 51 months in prison. They chose that because five plus one equals six. Six, six, six is the mark of the beast. Six plus six plus six is 18, minus one for one nation under God, equals 17, and the 17th letter of the alphabet is, say it with me, Q. It almost makes too much sense. Something wrong with you, man. <laughs> A judge on Friday officially ended Britney Spears' conservatorship after 13 years. The media is very excited that she's back on her feet so they can knock her right back down again. <laughs> Senator Josh Hawley, whose middle name is Um Actually, said in a speech that after years of being told their manhood is the problem, men are turning to pornography and video games, which is not true. I also drink. <laughs> Elon Musk sold nearly $5 billion in Tesla stock after he polled his followers on Twitter and they told him to do it. Which is good news, because the poll's other option was kill a drifter. <laughs> <laughs> a judge ruled that Texas Governor Greg Abbott's executive order banning mask mandates in school violated the Americans with Disabilities Act. Because in Texas, you have to treat the disabled with care and respect until the day you execute them. <laughs> It was, I don't know why I thought that'd make you laugh. <laughs> it was announced that New York City SantaCon, which was canceled last year, will return this December. So the answer is nothing. The pandemic taught us nothing. <laughs> well, guys, we are six shows into our new season. Here to tell us how it's going is one of our new cast members, Sarah Sherman. <laughs> Hey, Sarah, so how's your time at the show been so far? What's not to love? Laughing, comedy, New York City. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, dude, I've got some feedback. You got feedback already? <laughs> yeah, and I got a lot of questions about the show. First off, why is it live? Well, the name of the show is Saturday Night Live. Don't you think that's a little scary, Colin? I could say something right now that could ruin my life and yours. <laughs> Please don't. I kind of want to. I'm crazy. <laughs> don't, though. Anything could happen. I could have a nip slip right now. Sarah, you're buttoned up to your neck. You don't know where my nipples are. Well, OK, I feel like I know where most people's nipples are. Huh, do you? This just in, <laughs> local pervert Colin Jost claims he's seen most people's nipples. Now, back to you, Colin. That's, that's, that's not what I meant. And another thing, why is this show on so late? It's not even Saturday anymore. It's Sunday. You people are being lied to. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, the show starts on Saturday. Wow. Self-proclaimed nipple expert, Colin Jost, caught mansplaining live on 
television. <laughs> now back to you, Colin. Where are you getting these graphics? Please stop interrupting me! <laughs> and another thing, why is everyone on the cast so friggin' good looking? I'm sitting here looking like Chucky went to Sarah Lawrence. <laughs> Come on, no, no. <laughs> So you're saying I'm beautiful? <laughs> what, are you obsessed with me or something? <laughs> Breaking news! <laughs> Local sicko Colin Jost caught hitting on SNL's barely legal new girl. <laughs> barely legal? You're like 30. And another thing, why aren't there any Jews on the show? There are a lot of Jewish people on the show, including you. Wow! Okay. Don't do it. I'm gonna. In other news, <laughs> local work blanket Colin Jones <laughs> is keeping track of the amount of Jews at SNL. <laughs> he's making a list and he's checking it twice. More on that at 11. <laughs> Way past 11. And another thing, why do you guys dress like that? I mean, nice jacket, Colin. Where'd you get that? The friggin' store? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I got it at a store, yeah. <laughs> she got you, man. You suck. <laughs> that's the meeting. Aw, thanks, Michael. Oh, Noted white feminist <laughs> Michael Che protects innocent Jewish girl from gorgeous fascist Colin Jones. Sarah Sherman, everyone. <laughs> A new report shows that the fastest growing form of electronic vehicle is the e-bike, which is particularly popular in cities. At this point, experts believe the only thing that could slow these bikes down are car doors. <laughs> Cam Cambridge University in England has released a new calendar featuring student athletes naked. Unfortunately, they're all from the Quidditch team. It's nice. Bud Light is releasing a carbonated eggnog-flavored drink called Seltzer Nog. If you want a preview of the taste, throw up in your mouth. Environmentalists are warning visitors to the Canary Islands that having sex on the sand dunes is causing them to erode faster, not to mention making them super clumpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> In an effort to end his long-standing feud with Dwayne Johnson, Vin Diesel posted an open letter on Instagram. Of course, for Vin Diesel, an open letter is just a C. <laughs> A charter plane service in Las Vegas is offering people rides to nowhere so they can have sex in the air. Oh, fun, said a polar bear in 60-degree weather. <laughs> <laughs> this is some dark jokes, man. <laughs> this will get him back. After three giraffes died... <laughs> After three giraffes died at the Dallas Zoo in less than a month, officials are investigating if the deaths are connected. Some are beginning to suspect that this could be the work of notorious serial killer Giraffery Dahmer. <laughs> An 83-year-old man has become the oldest person ever to hike the Appalachian Trail. The man dedicated the walk to his wife, who died a few miles back. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khaled... <laughs> no, wait, out. DJ Khaled announced a new chicken wing delivery service that will use jet skis to offer boatside chicken service. <laughs> Khaled said he came up with the idea from help, with help from his longtime business partner, Cocaine. <laughs> well, recently, some companies have been using artificial intelligence for artistic pursuits like dance, music, and painting. Here to comment is a robot program to do stand-up comedy, Laugh and Tosh 3000. <laughs> Hello, hello, Colin. How are you today? I'm doing well. What a lovely crowd. This is crowd work. Look, look at this guy. Where are you from, Colin? Oh, I'm from Staten Island. Staten Island. Processing? Processing? Staten Island sucks! <laughs> Am I right? This was crowd work. Wow. Yeah, very, very impressive. That's great. 
Now, now do you want to hear some jokes? <laughs> sure, yeah. The difference between black people and white okay. people. Okay, <laughs> we don't have to go. We don't jump right into that, Laughing Tosh. Maybe you said, what about some impressions? Impressions are fun. The impression, lo loading? <laughs> loading? <laughs> this is my impression of Instagram. Look at my body, look at my face, look at my vacation, look at my body. This was Instagram. That's, that's, a, pretty, that's a pretty good impression. Do, do, do you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> do you have any others? Any other impressions? Okay, you see. <laughs> you have any other impressions? Yes. <laughs> this is my impression of Tinder. This is Tinder. Get out my way, get out my way, get out my way, get out my way. Hello, baby! Would you like to have sex tonight? No? Get out my way, get out my way, get out my way. This was Tinder. Interesting, wow. That's it, so, so you date? That's a very sore subject. <laughs> It was very hard to date as a robot. My last girlfriend was a GPS. Whenever we had sex, she only wanted to give directions. Go left, go left. Lower, lower, lower. Recalculating. Destination not reached. This was my lowest moment. Oh man, well it's it's okay, you know, you're you're here and uh, and you're doing great. Well, that could be worse. I could be living in Staten Island, baby. Okay. <laughs> Am I right? Laughing Tosh 3000, everyone. Nice stand up. Can we get up there? I'm Colin Joe. I'm Michael Craig. Good night. <laughs>